Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qudaybiyah Palace a number of officials where he discussed with them a number of regional and international affairs. His Royal Highness affirmed that the rapid regional developments call for more awareness and determination to maintain the stability and security of the homeland. He noted the importance of preserving the deep-rooted history of Bahrain, which stands as witness to the contributions of the kingdom and its people to the human civilization over centuries. The Prime Minister attributed the urban and civilizational development of Bahrain to the efforts of generations of the Bahraini community. His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to generations of the Bahraini community who have contributed to the urban civilizational development of kingdom, resulting in the modern renaissance of Bahrain. He noted the numerous developmental health, housing and educational projects being implemented in various governorates for the interest of all citizens. His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahrain pioneership will remain a witness to the leading contributions of the people of Bahrain in various fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qudaybiya Palace the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf, and the Southern Governor, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, who briefed His Royal Highness on the Health Center project at Khalifa City, which His Royal Highness directed to establish. He was also briefed on the occasion's whole project in Al Dur. His Royal Highness affirmed that providing the means of stability and entertainment for citizens is the government's ultimate goal in all its developmental programs. He stated that the process of completing the services system in all governorates is underway, stressing the government's keenness on the equal distribution of government projects in all the kingdom's cities and villages. His Royal Highness asserted that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, witnesses an increasing developmental and urban growth in line with high-level government services, provided for citizens and residents in the kingdom. The Prime Minister expressed satisfaction with the development in all service projects in the Southern Governorate. He directed to speed up the establishment of the Khalifa City Health Center and the occasion's whole projects in the record time and according to the highest standards. His Royal Highness noted the importance of establishing an occasion's hall and social facilities that enhance communication values between community members. The Prime the minister hailed the efforts of the southern governor in following up with the needs of citizens, fulfilling them and launching initiatives that serve the governorate's citizens. His Royal Highness commended the efforts of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning in achieving the directives of the government in the field of sustainable development through a number of projects that the ministry is co currently implementing in various areas of the kingdom. For his part, the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning loaded the interest of His Royal Highness in developing the living standards of citizens in all the areas of the kingdom, affirming the Ministry's keenness in implementing projects that benefit citizens. For his part, the Southern Governor expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his interest in developmental projects in the Southern Governorate to achieve the aspirations of the citizens in various cities and villages. He added that His Royal Highness's directives represent a gilding platform for the Governorate to implement projects in various fields.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qadaybiya Palace the board members of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, led by its chairman Samir Abdullah Nas, where they discussed economic topics that concern companies and family businesses in Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed the importance of keeping up with the world's economic changes by exerting more efforts to strengthen the components of the national economy to deal with all challenges. His Royal Highness called for doubling efforts to seize investment opportunities generated by the national economy and to increase investments to stimulate the commercial and industrial sectors. The Prime Minister affirmed the government's keenness on strengthening the legislation and regulation system that improve the investment environment and help companies and establishments improve their businesses. His Royal Highness welcomed the board members and affirmed his keenness on meeting with representatives from the commercial sector. The Prime Minister reaffirmed the government's support to the Chamber and its members to develop the commercial sector in the Kingdom based on its keenness on cooperating and coordinating with the Chamber with regard to commercial affairs. His Royal Highness asserted the importance of strengthening the partnership between the government and the private sector, adding that the government will spare no efforts in supporting the Chamber and is keen on consulting with the Chamber on any matter that serves the commercial sector in Bahrain, adding that the commercial sector receives the full support of the government. His Royal Highness also praised the Chamber for its long-standing role in supporting the Kingdom's Development March, stressing that it's an incubator for the commercial and industrial sector. The Premier stressed the importance of cooperation between the private and public sectors in developing various sectors of the Kingdom, affirming the government's support of the private sector. BCCI Chairman Abdullah Nas expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his keenness to support the efforts of the Chamber and highlighted His Royal Highness's remarkable contributions in the development witnessed in the Kingdom in all sectors. He praised His Royal Highness's keenness to communicate with the Chamber and exchange views on all matters concerning the future of Bahrain's development march. He also expressed appreciation for his constant directives to provide more facilities that support the competitiveness of the Kingdom's investment environment. He also praised His Royal Highness's unlimited support to the Chamber and the sector and his role in supporting economic development efforts in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a cable from the Chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Abdullah Nas, on behalf of the BCCI's Board of Directors and the Commercial and Industrial Community in the Kingdom, extending deepest thanks and appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for receiving them at His Majlis today. He said that such an honouring reflects His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's support for BCCI and all its activities and confirms his approach of communication and constructive dialogue with the representatives of the trade, economic and investment sectors in the Kingdom in order to agree on means to enhance the development process and increase economic growth in the Kingdom. Samir Abdullah Nas highly valued His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's unlimited support for BCCI and the trade sector, crediting them with their achievements and gains. He took pride in the Prime Minister's understanding of all the topics raised by BCCI during the meeting, expressing confidence in His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's wisdom and keenness to create suitable conditions for the private sector in Bahrain in order to play its role in contributing to the sustainable development process. BCCI chief hailed His Royal Highness the Premier's directives and forward-looking visions to 
towards the future of economic action, as well as towards the expected role to be played by BCCI in representing the private sector and protecting its interests, so that it could spur economic progress and diversify the economic base. He stressed that he confirms the depth of His Royal Highness the Premier's enlightened vision and recognition of the importance of interaction and dialogue with the private sector, which will always remain supportive of his directives, plans and programs aiming to enhance the national economy. He wished His Royal Highness the Premier further success in bringing more economic development and progress to the Kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yaqub Al Hamar, announced the Ministry's preparations to launch the first phase of East Hid City during the last quarter of this year in preparation to distribute housing units to beneficiaries. Al Hamar conducted an inspection visit to East Hid Town to ensure the implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to speed up the project according to the highest standards to facilitate the living of the city. Citizens. He states that the first phase of the project, named Bushaheen Neighborhood, is nearly finished as 885 units have been fully constructed and infrastructure completion rate has reached 90%. During the tour, the Minister of Housing was briefed on the progress of work in all stages of the project, which is currently witnessing the construction of 2,827 housing units with construction completion rates ranging from 15 to 100 percent. One of the unique features entertaining visitors at the sixth edition of the Khalid bin Hamad League is the exhibition showcasing the kingdom's milestones in the sports sector and highlighting the league's successes in history. More in this report. The Khalid bin Hamad tournament, which is annually held as part of Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa's initiatives to support the youth of the kingdom and to engage them with different events and activities, holds its place as a successful regional event and support to the youth. Actually, we take the guests to the stages of the league, you know, which is included in the exhibition from the beginning. For the, for the first year of the league, it was in uh, 2012 with 16 teams, and we show them all the I mean, stages of the league, you know, by one by one, up to the end of the last year uh, league, which we have the fifth edition, and we have actually we are now in the sixth edition of the league, and at the end of the tour, we also we take them to to the field there board which they have their signature to be there on the sidelines of the tournament was also an exhibition of historical photographs which dealt with successive periods of Bahrain's sports achievements and main highlights which reflects the kingdom's place and progression in the sports sector the aim of the exhibition you know, to show everybody here even the guests even the players everybody who's coming to see the exhibition we show them how this league established from the beginning in 2012 up to the last year we have pictures we have information we have numbers of the teams uh, the winners of the each league it was so the full information is included in this exhibition the exhibition provides an international stage and meeting point for VIP delegates, visitors and teams alike to view groundbreaking Bahraini sports achievements. With the increase in numbers and teams every year, shows that this tournament has had an impact at all levels in the sports community. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. Held under the patronage of His Majesty's Representative for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Supreme Council for Youth and Sport Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee President Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the ninth edition of the Youth City 2030 was opened today at the Bahrain International Convention Center and continues to promote the kingdom's status as a pioneer in boosting the role of Bahraini youth. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. Youth City 2030 rolls up its curtains for its ninth edition. The annual event organized by GOIS focuses on key growth areas for Bahraini youth, 
aiming to promote creative thinking among them and encourage talent in areas such as leadership, media, information technology, arts, languages, science and sports. City 2030 is a summer uh, program which is conducted by Ministry of Youth and Sport. Uh, the aim or the objective of this project is to promote and to build the capacity of the youth from 9 to 29 years old during the summer uh, time. Uh, basically, uh, we are working in five main areas, which is leadership, art, science and technology, uh, we had the sport and we have the media. Uh, in the past eight years, uh, we have these five categories but in this year we have changed the idea to meet the expectation and to improve uh, the programs and the way of delivering this activity. 6,000 square meters of the Bahrain Exhibition Center was transformed to a live education city fostering a great learning space and adapting an exciting vibe for both the trainees and trainers. This year's villages included workshops in scientific and technological fields, interior design, fashion design, drawing, sketching and pottery making. Um, this year it's completely different from how it used to run in the past. The um, programs, the, or let's say the, the entire program as a whole, runs um, more into or looks more into projects rather than programs. So all the um, sectors in the Youth City 2030 will focus on producing uh, projects. So we have uh, media projects, we have art projects, we have uh, leadership projects and science projects. Youth City is the one event that we, every young Bahraini waits um, every summer. Uh, and what makes this year different than any other year, and especially last year, is that instead of having centers and programs uh, where children come and just have fun and learn, it's more of a training center where there's some consultancy and it's more of a, a training camp than just um, a summer program. For the past eight years, Youth City continued to promote a bright future for the nation's youth through its projects, which includes month-long workshops and programs to help children and young adults find their calling, whether through personality development or skills training, which reflects the kingdom's role in investing in the nation's youth. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.